All right, y'all, so we are at currently 9.3 miles. If you followed along with this channel so far, you know that we love the James River. It runs right through our city and has been home to so many of our fond memories. We were eager this summer to revisit our very first overnight route, 30 miles from Cartersville to Watkins Landing. Literally every time we look at the map, the dot has not moved at all. Morale is low. But when we checked the stats for the river a few days before, the level was so low we actually considered postponing. The level of the river fluctuates a lot throughout the year. The highest it's been in recorded history was in 1972 with Hurricane Agnes when it reached over 300,000 cubic feet per second. Each year, especially in the summer, it can dip low, but this time it was going to be only 1,800 CFS, almost 50% lower than last year. We decided though, even with a high probability of lots of fin scrapes and possibly having to bail out completely, that it was worth a go. We also had some fresh faces along this time. Aaron joined us for the whole trip, Gloria's friends, Mary and Tim for the first day, and my mom and her friend Karen for the second day. The trip started like any other, but we quickly lost the first battle against the low river when we noticed a hole in Gloria's board. Of course we did not bring the repair kit. We had to make do with what we had and hoped that the duct tape could keep her afloat for the rest of day one's 13 miles. Looking for a lunch bot is proving to be quite difficult. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Time with the taco salad idea. We're just gonna walk the rest of the way. Alright, lunch is done. We are back on our way. Erin, how many miles are we at? 5.77 miles out of Maybe 13, who knows. Despite the hole, I'm staying afloat. So, we just started hearing thunder. It would not be an RVA paddle crew trip without some unexpected events. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa! Look at it go. All right, y'all, so we are at currently 9.3 miles. We are much closer than we expected. We're headed straight into the storm. Where are we at? Ten miles. Ten miles. Ten. Attack of the dragonflies. <laughs> For some reason, they will not leave Aaron alone. Before we knew it, we were closing in on ramp A at Powhatan State Park, which is where Mary and Tim had left their car. See ya. Bye friends. Bye. After we dropped them off, Gloria, Aaron, and I only had about a mile left to go before we got to where we were camping. Land ho! We made it! Oh, we're Woo back. Here we go. Time to somehow get a tarp up before the storm arrives. Yeah. 
Yeah. Gloria has her hammock. A little bit of a better tarp set up than our last uh, trip. The tent for Aaron and I. And the river right through there. Somehow, my paddleboard was able to make it through with just duct tape on it. My friends Mary and Tim are gonna drop off a repair kit and a pump so that I can continue to stay afloat for the rest of the trip. I have never even opened these. Great, thank Good you. <laughs> so, on tonight's menu of RVA Paddle Crew Cooks, we have Greek bowls. <laughs> Uncle Ben cooks this. Shout out to Uncle Ben. Thank you, Uncle Ben. Everything tastes better with a dollop of hummus. It is about 6.42 in the morning. We've been up for maybe a half hour. Um, slept relatively well, except for some very loud people. <laughs> Can't be at the campground this time, so that was a bummer. And then we will head to Maiden's Landing, so it'll be about a two mile paddle initially where our mom and her friend are gonna be meeting us for the rest of the trip today, so. We got a little bit of time before we have to meet them, so we're kind of doing everything a little bit relaxed. Whoa! <laughs> So y'all, this is something totally crazy. Aaron's paddle was stolen last night. Paddleboard, paddle, paddleboard, paddle, paddleboard, no paddle. Uh, there seems to be no sign of it, so we'll see. Okay, an unexpected update. Or Aaron's paddle was not stolen. It was borrowed without permission. A gentleman came up from there with that kayak, which was not his, and Aaron's paddle, which doesn't even go with a kayak, because he thought that the boards and stuff there was for anyone in the camp sites to use. So, honest mistake, but funny. The duct tape held up pretty well for day one, but we're gonna try and fix it now with the repair kit. Not sure if it will work, but surely it has to be better than duct tape. morning but we're finally on our way don't mess with blisters guys don't mess with blisters all right so we are about an hour late we're going to meet up with mom so you know what that means power hour time baby Whoa. <laughs> nostalgic pop hits let's go all right we got Karen and Robin on board, ready to go for the last uh, 
12 or 13 miles or so. Thankfully, my mom had her pump with her and we were able to stop in and Gloria could top off her board with some air. Mileage check. 6.45. Oh geez, here we go again. Ah! <laughs> when the river level is too shallow, we finish dragging, we muscle it out. <sighs> Time to take a break. And voila. .5. And in the distance, we can see the dock. Land ho! Somehow, despite the low water level, noisy neighbors, and hole in a paddleboard, this trip still ended up being fantastic. And I think we owe it to all the friends and family that came along. So thank you guys so much for joining. And until next time, as always, get out there and enjoy some adventures close to your own hometown.